Welcome back to our YouTube channel. So this video was requested by many of you and so I wanted to honor your request and show you exactly what we bought on our last grocery haul. If you like this video, let me know in the comments down below and I'll do more of them. So the Grain Free Cookies, that is an excellent brand. My daughter was super hungry. We didn't even eat them on the way home. We thought we would. So now we have them for whenever we need them. We end up getting some baking soda. Baking soda and baking powder we go through a lot of just for like pancakes and muffins and things like that. Apple cider vinegar we go through a lot of. My kids will take a teaspoon of that every single day. We put that in our cough syrup, all different kinds of things that make the apple cider vinegar, including cooking and our muffins. We go through a ton of garlic, so I always have to buy that. The pasture raised Vital Farm eggs are my absolute favorite. They are on the higher side. They're closer to $7 when they're on sale. Um, so we just buy what we need. We needed four of those for the week, so I grabbed some of those as well. Pineapple slices we bought for trail mix. Um, the peanuts as well. We used to buy peanuts in a very large container and make our own peanut butter, but we love the Kirkland organic peanut butter, so we're sticking with that for now. And we don't eat our own sourdough bread. I don't buy the Ezekiel bread. We like the sprouted bread right here. It was on sale. And so we've just picked up about, I think, four or five loaves. Um, but they also sell that at Aldi. And it's a little bit cheaper than going to Whole Foods. And we're making like grilled cheese and eggs in a basket and things like that. Those raisins we normally buy in bulk, um, but my kids love the boxes. So the story behind that is we'll actually end up refilling those boxes and then taking them with us when we're on the go. That's a cream cheese that we use um, for all of our bagels and all of our like um, avocado toast. Some of the kids like to have cream cheese on it. It is dairy free, it's made of cashews, it's extremely clean. And so if you can't eat dairy, this would be one of my recommendations. Um, we love that. For creamer, I like the large superfood creamer. I also buy this in a powdered form. I have it linked to my Amazon store. I have a bunch of their products. Um, they have a pumpkin spice right now that's excellent. I actually put that in my tea and in my coffee. So it's kind of, and I've actually put their, um, their creamers in my smoothies as well because they're just, full of so much. So that's one of my favorite brands. Okay, sweet potatoes are way up in price. I'm hoping they come down a little bit. As the season changes, we needed to buy some of those for, we were making, I believe it was, uh, where we had sweet potato, macaroni and cheese. The kale, we always we always buy kale no matter what because not only did we put this in a um, butternut squash soup that we made, but I also needed it for my smoothies. And so we always make sure we have it in hand along with dill love dill. I put it like in everything. Green apples for things like the German apple pancake that we had to make and then some of my children prefer the green apples over the red apple. We bought some pumpkin puree for all the muffins and pancakes that we were making this week. Love, love having that in hand. Keep an eye on Costco. Eventually they'll have six packs, at least they have the last few years. They'll go on sale. And we do like using dry kidney beans. It's way cheaper and actually all types of beans. But you'll notice they shop I always buy a few flats of the garbanzo, the black beans, and the kidney beans. And that's because we eat a lot of beans in our house and sometimes I forget to actually cook them and then I just run out of time and they're great to have on hand for like backups. That is a great juice. It's a little pricey, um, but it's an immune boosting juice from Uncle Matt's and it's just fabulous. My kids love that. Feel like really great stuff and I think it's like closer to seven dollars. Um, these are just my shampoo and my conditioner. Super clean shampoo and conditioner. One of my favorite, favorite brands. I bought them at Whole Foods this time. They are linked to my Amazon store as well, um, but they're on sale at Whole Foods, so I picked those up too. Popcorn. We are like, we have so many different popcorns in our house, but my kids love it. We make it, we buy it, we try different kinds. We are really big on like having popcorn with movies and board games and traveling. And so these are individually packaged. And so with co-op classes coming up and homeschooling classes and all the things that we have going on with church, we figured we would just buy some more of the packets and just be to grab and go and again this is super clean you're gonna notice all my food is very clean um, we, we do have some things that may be not clean or some things that you think are not clean and that's okay it's all about balance but for the most part we try really hard English muffins we are making um, little pizzas of the English muffins and yes it takes three of those um, those usually run about $5.99 I believe for the entire box so they're a little on the high side um, but it's still cheaper than ordering pizza and way better for you um, <clears throat> if I didn't have like a million biscuits in my freezer we would just make egg sandwiches out of English muffins so here's my haul 
for Whole Foods, we spent $189, $69 was our grand total there. So let's go on to Costco. This is where I do the bulk of my shopping because the deals are just unbeatable. And we'll start with Stringles. <laughs> my daughters love string cheese. Lots of their kids are crazy about string cheese and mine are. And they have a really good price on the organic string cheese that's under $8.99. I think it, was, it used to be $7.99. I'm just going to go with $8.99. I'm pretty sure that's where it's at now. Um, the buffalo stuff. That plant-based buffalo dip sauce is good on just about everything. So if that's in your store, grab it and try it. When we don't make our own sauerkraut, this is my go-to sauerkraut. I love it. It's so green when we open it up because it's fresh and fermented. We go through a lot of fermented foods and we like to give our kids either kimchi or sauerkraut with their meals. Just a little bit of it goes a really long way. One of my most favorite brands ever is Siete and they happen to make a really great flour tortilla. They are a little bit more expensive if you go to the other stores, at least in our area. So if you're at Costco and they carry these and you're looking for an almond flour tortilla that's clean, they have the best price on them and they're super, super delicious. So we go through a lot of frozen fruit just because it's better in price and we make a lot of smoothies, a lot of muffins, pancakes, waffles. Um, I started making my own jam and jellies. And so this is just a really great way to have fruit on you without having to run back to the store all the time for more fruits and vegetables because fruits and vegetables go bad pretty fast. So we always make sure we have a good stock of different fruits and vegetables in our freezer. That's a great smoothie blend, by the way. Just add that with a little bit of peanut butter, hemp seed, almond milk, and then maybe a little bit more banana for extra sweetness. It's a great meal if you're like heading out the door or add some really great protein powder to it. That would also work. Okay, so frozen vegetables. These are huge bags. I get it. But we're a family of 13, and so that one bag will feed one meal for us. We eat a lot of vegetables in our house, and so it's easy to consume a lot. It's just the way it goes. I know it looks like a huge amount. Um, and then the broccoli will go through three or four bags a week. Avocados were on sale, so we got three bags of avocados. We will use those for things like avocado pudding, avocado toast. My kids put them on their sandwiches. And, and then sometimes we'll actually just have it on the side with eggs. So three bags of avocados will not go to waste. Watermelon for snack during the week. Apples, because my kids literally will ask for apples all day long. And then we made a German apple pancake. I just dropped that on our, um, all of our platforms actually now have the German apple pancake on them. I just did a video. Um, they're super delicious. And I can't wait to go apple picking. That's coming up rather fast down here in Wisconsin because we go through a lot of apples. And they're just better right off the tree. I don't know, there's just something about it. And then we did get some kielbasa. These are on sale, organic beef kielbasa. My daughter requested these for her birthday dinner with butternut macaroni and cheese. This should be delish. Now we did get two things of the grass-fed beef patties. Here is what I've learned. $4.99 a pound in Wisconsin for the grass-fed beef patties. It is $9.99 a pound for grass-fed meat anywhere that I can find. I've not found it cheaper yet, maybe by a dollar. For those patties at Costco are $4.99 a pound. So you just take the patties and you just brown them and crumble them down and you can, there's no difference because it's just, there's nothing in those patties but grass-fed ground beef. So there's a little tip if you're trying to save money on grass-fed meat, just go to Costco and grab yourself some of those patties and then voila. Tomatoes, you go through lots of tomatoes. Just with having sandwiches, we'll actually put those in our macaroni and cheese when we cook them. The sauce, we like to add tomatoes. We make our own butternut squash. It's a vegan sauce, so we'll use a lot of those up. I do put limes in my water, limes in my dishes. A lot of citrus goes on top of my foods and my kids' foods. Um, this is very good for you. And then we're having like nachos, so you gotta put limes in your nachos, things like that. Um, the zucchini there, I think that was $7.99 for the entire bag. I like to slice that up and just put it in the oven and have that with breakfast. It's a great side dish with a little bit of um, olive oil and garlic and some seasoning. Now we don't go through a lot of tofu and I'm probably going to lean towards not buying as much of it at all anymore just because we do have um, nine daughters and I just, even though it's organic, I'm just doing a lot of research and it's just the soy kind of freaks me out. So, but we do, we do like it. We make a wonderful lemon asparagus tofu scramble. And then for my girls who are strictly plant-based, it is a really good source of protein. 
So I'm trying to work with that just a little bit, but those two boxes will take us two weeks to go through. Carrots, we are making a oven fried carrot this week. We were gonna make broth this week. So that big bag of carrots between cooking and baking and snacking will actually be consumed. Um, there's the asparagus for the for the lemon asparagus um, tofu scramble. Now, when you buy asparagus, you don't need to buy that organic. And I know a lot of people ask me, well, I'm trying to go cleaner. What should I do? Look at the dirty dozen list. Prices right now are so high. Just do the best you can and it's gonna be okay. Stress is worse for you than eating than anything, right? Stress is just so bad for you. Um, so just look at that dirty dozen list. So the green beans are another snack. We go through a lot of bell peppers. I will cut up two of these bags and put them in the freezer so they're ready to go for soups and stews. And then we're having cauliflower stir fry. I'll use the um, peppers and we make our, our butternut squash, um, macaroni and cheese, and just on salads and various other dishes. So we go through a lot of peppers. We go through a lot of produce, which is great, right? It's great. Um, these little mini cucumbers will be gone super fast. My kids just grab them out of the bag and they eat them for snack. Uh, so, and I never say no because they're cucumbers and they're really good for them. And so I like the sweet ones and I, or the, the smaller ones. They do cost a little bit more again, but my kids really love them. And then, believe it or not, we, we will go through these nine cucumbers in probably about four or five days celery because we're making our own veggie broth and some chicken broth and then ants in a log uh, for snack and then we have uh, some other various meals we put celery in a lot of our food it's just really flavorful and really good for you so i don't know if we'll consume both bags but we definitely will go through one to one and a half mushrooms i tried to sneak into everything because they're super great for you we did make a lasagna and add mushrooms to it we did have a um eggs uh, like an egg omelet and we had mushrooms in that and then I'll just try to sneak it into whatever meals I can by just blending it up and then you can't, you can't find it. My kids are probably going to watch this and go oh I didn't know you were doing that mom because um, my little ones have no clue but it's a good way to get mushrooms into your kids and they're super healthy and delicious for you so just kind of blend it into your stuff and they, they never know they're there because mushrooms are kind of they're kind of tasteless you can't really yeah you can't even taste it. It's not like they're eating an onion, right? So that will be, now and we're doing little mini pizzas. So little English muffins with the little cheese sauce. Um, we have some mushrooms and black olives. So they'll be used on that as well. For the kids, of course, that will eat the mushrooms. The other kids will be like, ew, don't put it up. Okay, because <clears throat> we're being, I'm being real with you guys. Not all my kids are like, oh, I love everything you buy, mommy. Not, uh, not all of them eat that. There's a lot of us. So you're always going to have someone that doesn't like what you buy, but we always make sure they try it at least three times. And then after the third time, if they don't like it, then I'm like, okay, we'll try again another time. It was at least try the food, right? So if they're five, we have them take five bites. If they're three, they take three bites. If they're nine, they take nine bites. And you get the point. So the blueberries, I'm going to miss the blueberry prices. They're going to go up. I know they're going to go up. The grapes will go up. They always do. Come probably by the next time I go shopping, the grapes will either be non-existent, there'll be no more organic, and then the blueberries will be like $9.99 a pound. It's horrible. So this was the first part of my shopping trip. We actually filled the table twice on the shopping trip. We always do. And here's a look at everything else that we bought. This stuff will last us more than a week. I just, I shop every week because a lot of things disappear we go through them but then some things will not like we'll have leftover onions onions are a great price by the way at Costco you can't beat it um, but we'll have like leftover onions and then the dates we had a little bit leftover but we had to buy more because we make so much with dates all of my energy bites have dates my granola has dates my cookies have dates um, sometimes the kids put smoothies and yeah, I'm, so, I'm sorry put dates in their smoothies and so those that price has actually gone up they used to be $9.99 they went to $10.99 now they're $11.99 and they freeze really well so I think next time I'm gonna buy like two packs and just stick one in the freezer the raisins will go through no problem within two weeks they'll be gone um, because again we put in trail mix and things like that so here we go this will last more than a week this is the coconut rolls but they're only they're under six dollars I think they're like five fifty four something like that and my kids love them and I love them and so we bought two bags 
we don't go through them super fast because it's easy to do. So I actually have these going in their little snack carts this week. I will show you that video coming up shortly. It's already recorded. I just, I can only post so much content at one time and sometimes I feel like I'm falling behind. But that's just the way it goes, right? Just the way it goes. And so this is something new for us. So because we're doing so many activities right now with back to school coming up, we do homeschool, but, and so actually our year is a little bit different than most, but all the co-op classes start in September, you know, church functions, all the things I like to do. And so that means we're gonna be on the go more. And these little packets just make life so much easier. They're super clean, they're organic, they're just perfect. And I've never bought them before, so I'm actually hoping they're, they're good. But I just think like my two-year-old and my five-year-old will just be like, this is perfect, mommy, thank you. Because I like to buy the $3 packets at the Target and at the store when we go. So I'm hoping this actually also saves me a little bit of money because that always that always helps so you can save a little bit of money and so we'll just put these in their lunch boxes and i'm hoping they love them they looked good we got some more canned beans like i said before we do have dry beans i know it's economically i know that that's way better you know just to have cook the dry beans but sometimes we just forget okay these grain free bars i i know they're you, when you, it's like sticker shock. I think it was like $18.99 for the box, but they're still under, they're under $2 a bar, right? They're like a dollar something a bar. And they're really good and they're clean and they're healthy. And my kids love them and they'll eat them. So I buy them. Walnuts, almonds, pecans, and our pine nuts all come from Costco. We make our own almond milk at home. The walnuts we put in our oatmeal. We use a lot of mixed nuts, macadamia nuts. Now that's not a money saver but they're really delicious and we put those in our energy bites and then my husband makes those we'll put those like in his trail mix and stuff like that and since he like pays for everything he can buy macadamia nuts cashews we do go through a lot of cashews we do we do because like i said we don't really like eating a lot of dairy so when we make our own dressings we do a lot of cashew dressing so that's really what we'll use it for and then my husband puts in his trail mix my husband likes cashews and macadamia nuts, very expensive nuts, and so yeah. So we go through plenty of those in our house, but that's okay, right? It's okay, it's all good. Next, I'm gonna show you, I did a video on this because I was so excited to find these. We love Simple Mills, and I kept hearing about these sweet thins and how I had to try them, and I wasn't buying them because they're so expensive when you're at like Whole Foods or your co-ops or things like that, they're really not cheap. Um, <clears throat> and they kept hearing, oh, they're going to have my Costco. We didn't have my Costco. Then I went back and I found them and I was like, oh my gosh. And I was so excited. And then of course I bought the Walker, you know, cookies that are not organic. They're the complete opposite, but they're so good. And it's, yeah, getting ready for Christmas, right? We're getting ready for Christmas. Um, then September, but that's just how you have to shop at Costco. If you see things, you have to buy them. Not all of their food, but a lot of their seasonal items. When you see it come into Costco, you know you're gonna want it and you can afford it at that time, just grab it because you'll thank me later because they may not have it later. So instead of the turkey sandwiches, we'll do tuna sandwiches and a tuna noodle um, like pasta dish. But be really careful with your tuna because it is high in mercury. So you don't want to give your kids like a whole can of tuna to themselves. That would be ridiculous. It's way too much for their little bodies. Um, so make sure that when you're making that, like for our family, six cans of tuna is more than enough. And there's 13 of us. Uh, the peanut butter you have to buy at Costco. The reason why is because the peanut butter is really delicious first of all that's super important but you get two large containers for under 10 bucks so it's five dollars a container I've never seen peanut butter anywhere can even come close to that price organic peanut butter clean peanut butter no hydrated oils just peanuts I mean it's beautiful okay we go through a lot of peanut butter I don't know if it, do I sound really excited about that it's because I am when you have a large family and you can find things, staples that you actually use on a daily basis at a good price, it's a good day. It's a very good day. Seven Sundays, as of right now, is a really great company. We love their products. So yeah, things are always changing. So let's hope they stay great. Oatmeal, we go through lots of oatmeal. Just my, my baby girl eats oatmeal every day. Um, we make oatmeal as a family, oat flour, granola. I mean, the list goes on and on. Cookies. And so you want to make sure you're buying an organic oatmeal. 
Um, those are just organic sprouted rolled oats. They're a super great company. And so we bought three or four bags, I can't tell, three or four bags and um, we'll probably go through one, maybe two, and those are big bags. Maple syrup, again, great price at Costco. Love their maple syrup. We'll go through, well, first of all, let's do price. I think that's $11.99. Prices keep changing on me. I believe it's $11.99. Um, we'll go through one and a half of those, but that's only because we make everything with maple syrup. We skip the refined sugar and we use maple syrup for many of our recipes. And so we just go through a lot. Ketchup, Primal Kitchen. Those three jars are only $9.99. To go anywhere else, they are $5 a jar. Easily. A bottle, I'm sorry, a bottle. They're easily $5 a bottle. A great price. There's no sugar added. My kids are now used to it. consuming this. You know, a lot of kids squirt ketchup all over everything because there's so much sugar in it. So they're really not into the ketchup, they're into the sugar. Because then they'll say, I don't like tomatoes. And you try to convince them that ketchup is tomatoes, and they're like, I'm not happy. But my kids now will eat that ketchup. Here's another thing, no way, we could not go through all this honey in one week, not even close. That'll take us a couple weeks to go through. So as you can see, a lot of things that we buy will not be consumed in two weeks. The um, spaghetti sauce will definitely be consumed in two weeks. We usually go through about four of them when we make lasagna, four or five of them. And then the other jar will be left over for little pizzas we're making this week out of the English muffins I showed you. Um, and so we'll usually go through all six of those jars. And it's a great spaghetti sauce and three pack is like $9.99. And so I'm very pleased with the Kirkland spaghetti sauce. They have other brands too that are pretty good that I really like, but if the Kirkland brand is in stock, it's what I'm gonna pick up. The Kalamata olives, uh, we love, yeah. You know, what is it big families and olives? I've noticed a couple channels where people like olives. Um, we, we love them. If you're at Costco, look for these green olives. They're organic and they're delicious. And then the Kalamata olives as well. I think the Kalamata olives were like under seven bucks and the other organic olives were under eight. Working back to the olive oil, make sure you get your olive oil it has one origin. So don't worry about being organic. Um, Kirkland actually has a great olive oil. That one's just in Italy. It's the one origin, not multiple. Um, I can do a whole video on that. There's a lot of discussion and there's a lot of talk about um, how the extra virgin olive oil is not all clean. So you have to be really careful. And that's a whole other topic. And then our avocado oil comes from Costco as well. We love these noodles. They are made of chickpeas, so it gives you the extra protein and extra fiber. And they just taste really good. And you're not gonna find them much cheaper than at Costco um, because I believe that huge box is, don't quote me on this now, but I believe the huge box is under $8 a box. So now you know that a lot of the food that we buy for one week will actually roll into two weeks. So when you see $1,100 show up on my grand total, there's a lot of things that we cannot consume in one week. We just buy everything in bulk and I've been raised to buy a little bit extra every time I go in case of emergencies. So let's go on to the last little bit of the Costco haul. Coffee. We buy our coffee at Costco. Super great price. That's actually a local coffee roaster. We bought organic dried mangoes. Oh gosh. My kids love these. Um, they're about $18.99 a bag. They're up $3 a bag from like last year. I believe they used to be like $15.99, but they're super clean. And what we do is we put those in their snack jars and the snack cart, or we will cut them up and we will actually put them in um, trail mix. And so they're just delicious. So this is the end of my haul. I'm gonna show you the chips we get. We'll eat, probably go to these chips in about two weeks. So let me just say this before I end the video. If you liked what you've seen so far and you want to join my community, we'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below so I can notify you when I drop new videos. And maybe comment down below if you like these longer videos or if maybe the shorter ones are more what you like because I'm happy to serve. And personally, I think a 28 minute video is a little long, but hey, I'm new at all this. So maybe I'm wrong. Thank you so much for being here. I'm gonna add the grand total now. These are just chips that we ate. Um, the Siete chips are super clean and really delicious. And if you're over at Costco, buy them because if you like them, they're the best deal. They're like big bag and the other bags in their store is like super small. So you wanna grab those. And the cheese pups, the cheese pups are amazing. Okay, that's all I have for you today. Thank you once again and follow us for more. 
Thanks for being here. Bye-bye.